Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a MacBook Pro inside this box and the listing that I bought was this one, $115. And this is the only picture we got with the listing, nothing else. And the description was this. Now this seller seems to be like a business or something. They have some other MacBooks listed. This one I think would be a great deal if one of you guys are looking for a 15 inch with uh, dedicated graphics, $90. I guess you can decide if you want that after watching me unbox this. But with that said, I don't know. I mean, if this is in fact a 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro with dual graphics, for $115, that's a tremendous deal, even in 2023. But there's only one way to find out what we've got, so let's get this thing opened up. Very interesting unboxing experience here. We do have a charger, 85 watt MagSafe 2. This looks to be an original Apple one, but we're missing the little prong there. That's okay, it's in decent shape besides that. And here we go. It's got this, I think this is black. It may be really dark blue case on it, which I have used these cases in the past and I don't mind them. They do a pretty good job, but this person did not put it on correctly. Either way, let me take the case off and wipe this thing down with some alcohol to clean it. And let's turn it on and see what we have. So the outside looks to be in pretty good condition. We have some sticker residue up there, a few scratches on the bottom, but the corners are almost perfect. And that's pretty rare. This thing's in great shape. I wonder if it was kept in that case for its whole life. Let's try to power this thing on. Let me go back to my regular camera zoom here. There we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got the chime, we got the Apple logo. That's a good sign. The sticky note on here shows this, which are specs this computer could have. We'll find out. And the P, I guess the password is password. Okay, this looks like macOS Monterey, and we have a force touch trackpad, which is really nice. Probably the best improvement these had over the 2014-2013 models was that force touch trackpad. Let's look at the specs of this thing, because that's what we came here for. There we go, get my camera. I need a new tripod. There we go, okay. Let's see. Okay, yeah, 2015, 15 inch. It's got the uh, R9 M370X graphics. Let us look at battery. Wow, 37? I wonder if this is the original battery. If that's true, then this thing was never used. That's impressive, or it was always plugged in. That 
That's amazing. How much storage do we have? 500. That's a pretty good number. 500 to 1 terabyte is uh, the sweet spot for these computers, especially if you're doing any sort of video or photo editing. Wow, I am blown away. This thing is a great value. Get this cleaned up, take that sticker off, and wipe the display down. And I think this thing deserves a little montage. So let me do that and then treat you guys to some shots of this thing. Now let's get into some of these benchmarks. Geekbench has finished and our score is 3,409. But if you look at these, these kind of peaks here, I have a feeling that either the thermal paste is all dried out or there's a bunch of dust inside this thing. So even though battery cycles are low, there's a good chance this computer sat on a desk somewhere plugged in forever and was kind of like a workhorse. It was uh, doing some intensive tasks all the time and that would explain why the thermals are not how they would be if this really were a brand new computer. So I'll probably open it up and check to see how much dust is inside, get that cleaned out, and then probably reapply some thermal paste as it's quite simple on these computers. Here's Geekbench 5 scores, and as you can hear, the fans are cranking. This thing got maxed out on the fans with Geekbench 5, which usually doesn't happen. Most computers, you won't even hear the fans because it's not like a endurance test. So there's definitely something going on with the thermals on this computer. Next, I want to look at the disk speed. So I've got Blackmagic here that we're going to test. Some pretty good values there that is very respectable um, about half of what modern SSDs are in MacBooks but still pretty good you'll notice this thing boots really quickly and any sort of file transferring takes place almost instantly still very good for a computer from 2015 so that has been a look at the 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro Still a great device, but it is starting to show its age in terms of processing power, especially compared to Apple Silicon. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.